Hi guys, my name is Khan and welcome to another very, very cool video. Today you will learn a very, very powerful effect that will guarantee you incredible reactions. Plus, I would like to introduce you to a big giveaway that I am currently running. So if you have already participated, you can skip this part. If not, let's talk quickly about the giveaway, what you can win and what you have to do to be entered. So guys, let me start by showing you the prizes that you can win in this giveaway. It consists of three sets of prizes that will be randomly given out to the winners. The first set of prizes is a close-up card magic set, so to say, where you can get a close-up pad along with two packs of bicycle playing cards. The second prize that you can get is a mini collection of Theory 11 artisan decks. You will get a white version, you will get the black version, and you will get the very, very rare gold foiled artisan deck. So you will get this little collection as the second prize. And the final set of prizes that you can get is a little collection of decks from different companies that I'm pretty sure you will love. So these decks are to win. So to win one of those three sets of prizes, there is only one thing for you to do. And let me say right now, it is not magic related. This is actually a little favor that I'm asking you to do that I will need for private purposes, which is just a questionnaire for my bachelor thesis. It is not magic related. However, it is YouTube related. So the only thing that you have to do is go ahead in the description box of this video. There is the link to an online survey that you just have to fill out. That's it. Just make sure that you answer the questions really truly read through the questions. They are very, very simple. It is going to take you a maximum of five minutes to fill it out. If you just answer the questions randomly, you will be disqualified because I can see whether the questions have been answered truly or not. So just check out the questionnaire, fill it out with your true opinion. And at the end, you will just enter your email address to win one of those three sets of prizes. This giveaway is going to go for around a month and at the end, the three winners will be announced. So very, very easy to enter this giveaway. Just go ahead, fill out the questionnaire with your true opinions and at the end, you will be added to this giveaway. So that's been said. I really hope that a lot of you take part in this giveaway to win one of these amazing prizes. But that's been said. Let's jump straight into the video. So guys, for this effect, I will need a few cards. We have the four jacks, we have the four queens, and you guessed it, we have the four kings. Now, to show you how these cards are like a little different from the other cards, I'll show you something very unusual. We'll place the jacks here, the queens in the middle, and the kings right over here. I'm leaving the top ones facing up because they are the leader cards. To show you what leader cards are, I'll demonstrate it in a different way. Therefore, I'll just need you to mix up the places of the leader cards. So just name out two of them. Let's say the Jack and the King. So let's switch up their places. And as the Queen is still in the same position, let me just switch up them like this. So they are in different positions. But still, because they are leader cards, their members of the same group follow their leaders. Here we have the queen. So all the queens follow their leader. And of course, it is the same with all the cards. Here we have the jack, meaning the jack follow their leader. Now, the kings are even better, right? The king of spades is like the leader of the leaders, meaning when you take the other kings and put them in completely different parts of the deck, the moment the leader king touches the top of the pack, all the other kings follow their leader up to the top of the pack, just like this. So guys, let's get started with the explanation of this incredible effect. If you liked it, as always, let me know by leaving a huge thumbs up on this video, along with comments and a subscription on the channel. Now, what you need for this, so simple. 
Just take out the kings, the jacks and the queens and make sure to have cards of the same suit on top. This just gives the whole effect an overall good visual. Now you pick up these cards and you put them in the following order, the jacks, the queens and the kings, right? So jacks, queens, kings. Leave the pack facing up and just add three more cards facing down to the bottom of this pack and you're ready to go. When you start off the effect, make sure to have a pinky break right underneath this pack. So your face cards and the three random facing down cards are above your break. Now to start off, just lift up all the cards above your break, place the remaining cards on the table. Now you are going to introduce which cards you're holding on. So you peel them off one by one, the jacks, turn them around and place them to the bottom of the pack, then the queens, turn them around and to the bottom and last but not least the kings so one two three four turn them around to the bottom and in a fluent motion all these cards go on top of the remaining cards as you place them on top and lift up the whole pack you can say that you're gonna do something very special for your spectators and as you're talking to them just take the cards and start dealing them one by one on the table two three and the fourth card you will just leave facing up on top. Repeat the same in the middle, two, three, four, and here, one, two, three, four. In their mind, you have here now all the jacks, here the queens, and here the kings. But actually, you have the kings on top of the pack, here you have the queens, here you have the jacks, and here you have the random cards that you started up with. So suddenly it doesn't appear so magical anymore, does it? But still, I'm going to show you the rest of the effect. To show how little cards work, you will change up their position. But you're going to make it look like as if the spectator chooses their positions. Even though you already know how the cards will end up. You want every card to go one position to my left in this case, right? So the queen should go here, the jack should go here, and the king right here. Getting into this position is very very simple. So you start like this and you ask your spectator to name out any two cards to change up their places. Whichever cards they name, you will just change their positions. Let's say for example the queen and the jack. And whatever they pick, one of the cards will really be in the position that you want it to be at, right? For example here the queen and the jack. When you switch up their places, the jack is in the position I wanted it to be. Now I need of course a motivation for changing up the position of these two cards because they are in wrong places. And therefore I'm just saying this. You know what? The king is still in the same position. So just let me change up the places of these two cards. So it really looks like I'm switching it up randomly. But actually I really wanted just to switch up the places of these two. In their mind I could have changed the places of the king and the jack too. Make sense? Now that all the cards have moved one step to my left in this case, you are ready to go. Now you explain that the leader cards have changed positions, but still all the cards follow their leaders and you start with the queens showing that they have followed their leader. Then you say the jacks and the kings did the same thing. As you say that, you lift up the jacks and show they followed their leader too. And then without showing the kings having followed the leader, because it is obvious that these can only be the kings, you are going one step ahead and saying the king of spades is the leader of the leaders. Meaning when you take the kings and lose them in the pack, right? So in their mind, the kings now really go in different positions in the pack, even though they are already on top. You just lift up the king, touch it on top of the pack and say that because it is the leader of the leaders, even though they are lost in the pack, they jump to the top following their leader. There is really no sleight of hand going on, but still you are creating a very, very cool miracle that will fool your spectators very, very badly. So that was pretty much today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this and I really hope you perform it, but that's it. I hope to see you next time.